Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. So for this week's What Did I Get? I have a few bits and pieces. So I've been to Bastin's, which is, again, I think they're online. I've mentioned them before. This is from the one in Brixton. So, and then I got these as well, along with double-sided tape. Now I've opened one up and I'll show you my kind of ideas behind all this. So this is this craft brand this is stocked in the range and uh, lots of independent craft places and stuff like that so this is quite readily available anyway I always use this tape or the one from the pound shop it's just the foam adhesive it's nice and cheap and it does the job like any any other ones so that's fine for me I picked up these embellishments the reason again for these ones is I like the size they're really thick really large quite raised ones but this kind of I guess well, yeah, it's a silvery kind of metal, gun metal looking one. Again, it's perfect for more masculine cards. I am trying to build up that kind of, you know, um, craft supplies really because I don't have a great deal of stuff for guys. So I'm just trying to get some, yeah, of those things. So I've got them and then I picked up that pack there just because there's lots of different colours. Um, and again, I'm making so many cards. I make a lot of cards that I don't share with you guys because they're for magazine commissions. So a lot of these things get used, you know, in other parts of, you know, things that I do. So um, then I picked up these bits here now. These ones here, if I take them out, they are this here. I thought they looked really nice, but I don't like all this. I don't like all the plastic, but it easily comes off. So you just take that off and then all these bits can come out and they look, to me personally, they look loads better without all this, plus they will fit perfectly onto your cards and they won't, you know, you won't have any bulk. So if you take, get all, you know, take all that off, keep it all, because it is handy if you do want to, you know, make up different flowers. You might, you can add paper flowers to this, hole punch the middle and you've got all your, you know, your gubbins there to kind of put it all together so I will keep all those but the idea is is that just off of that one flower I've now got all of these pieces and you could probably just get away with two of them on top of each other like so well, let's do three pop that one in there as well but you could mix up as well but then so if I just pop those on like that and then if I use this one here which kind of goes Pop that in the middle and that's just one example but you've got a really nice very flat flower these are super soft so yeah but you could always just use one in that color and then if I get the white because I'd already taken the white apart to test it but I could put a white in there and then put another yellow on the top and you can see you get the you know the mix of it there so there's loads so I'm actually going to take all of these apart keep all them in a bag and I'll just put them away somewhere but I also got the pink and the purple bag there but for £1.35 you actually get a heck of a lot of flowers so yeah and the nice thing is, is you can really scrunch them up as well so you know you might want to do something like that and if you make like the teacups and things you could really kind of you know wedge those into little spaces and just have this little spray kind of poking out the top so yeah I, I liked them more for the fact that they're fabric and I think I can get a lot more use out of them so I'll leave that one on there anyway I'll probably make that up but I've just put some hot glue in between because it is fabric but um yeah I thought they were quite good so anyway that's why I brought them so you know when you see stuff and you just think oh I won't use that because that is really bulky I wouldn't put that on a card but it's perfect for gift boxes that way um or the teacups and stuff because you could just cut that piece off and see if it cuts okay it should do because it's only plastic yes yeah, so it cuts right off so you could just add some hot glue and then again that looks really really nice you could also put it on a long straw or a stem and actually make them up as flowers so there's loads of uses for them but that's what I will be doing so yeah two bags there loads of flowers and a bargain price um then I picked up these I think I shared the other colors before the green I think I shared the green so the thing the only thing I annoys me sometimes with the packaging is you have to take it off and then it's all open so I have to put this now I mean, I've got lots of storage, but I'll put it in something else. But look here, so £1.35, you get absolutely tons. I'm not sure what that is in there. Um, there is loads here. Absolutely tons and tons and tons. And what you do, or what I'm going to do, is make up my own flowers. So these are all little individual petals. You just put some glue in the middle. Let's make one up. Oh, 
Okay, and then I'm just going to add this purple one on here. Just to fold those bits of the sticky bit in. Pop that right over the middle. This glue will all dry nice and clear anyway. But there you have another really pretty flower. Again, you can just stress them up a bit. You can obviously make them. That was just a quick one to show you guys. You can mess, you know, change up the petals and stuff. But I think it looks really pretty. pretty. And you put some green leaves behind it. I've got a few left over here from... I mean, I wouldn't put those leaves exactly, but you get the idea. Although they don't look too bad. you imagine that, just on the card? There we go. So, yeah. I like things like this when you get so much of them. I mean, there is loads there for the price. That's going to last ages. So I have got the green. This is the purple, yellow. I think there was a pink. But I don't know, for some reason I didn't pick it up. But anyway, so I might go back and get that another day. But... And um, again, they will all get used. I'm just pushing that all out of the way. And then I picked up these um, feathers here. You get so many here. Some of them are a bit naff. I mean, that, that one's not really going to make it onto a card. But how pretty would these be, you know, just behind some flowers on a card or you've got a nice sentiment, you have a couple of feathers hanging out. They're a really pretty kind of, well, pinky... Pinky mauvey, no not mauve, are they? Yeah, well you can see what colour they are anyway. Very nice deep pink. So yeah, just thought they were nice. They did have another colour but I don't think I liked it too much. But um, I'm always looking for nice, you know, more kind of different embellishments to add to cards, to gift boxes. Nice on a gift tag, kind of, you know, again, layered up. You know, you can imagine again, you popped a, a flower there as well. You get the You get the idea, just trying to layer up bits and pieces there and stuff so yeah so I grabbed all of those then I picked up this one it's already been used it was from a charity shop it's only 50p but there's still plenty of E's left I've still got yeah they've only used an, one of the F's there they've used an M so I've only got the one M and I think they've used the P there so if I want to write happy that's kind of gone out the window but anyway <laughs> I've got three S's still got a couple of T's and um, they've used one of the Y's there, but again, good for, you know, my scrapbooking and stuff. So they're just these kind of shiny, oh look, listen, ice cream van. If you're wondering, if you're in other parts of the world and you don't have that, that's our ice cream van coming around. Mm, maybe I should go and get an ice cream. Okay, so yeah, 50p, so I just grabbed those. Then I... <laughs> So I'm not a stamp collector, but if you followed me for some time, you will know that I do like to kind of stock up on used stamps because I put them on my envelopes. So if I'm not posting a card and I'm hand delivering it, I will put my own stamps on. So these all need to be sorted, but these are just little bags. So you've got here 50 world stamps. They were a pound. There's 50 in there. But I sort them all out I have all my floral stamps I've got all animal themed I've got sports related Christmas Easter Thanksgiving all the different seasons and they are just a really nice addition to finish off your card so if you are making somebody a card like for Christmas for example it's nice I think to just put some Christmas stamps on it even if it's being hand delivered so those are all going to be sorted out this one here is 50 Australian stamps they've all been franked as well I like that they've been franked because again I just think it gives a bit more of an authentic feel um, when you're giving it to that person but straight away I haven't opened these yet but look you've got the beautiful little koalas on there so some of them are really old but these are the, the two books which I love now these are old this is somebody's collection there isn't a huge amount of value to this it was just someone's personal collection there was loads there actually but I'm going to actually be keep using these stamp albums to keep filtering in so I will be adding these into here but I'm going to sort this out even more so I have with all my other ones all flowers together and so on so I can just go and grab the book when I want to add some flower stamps rather than me still kind of having to sort through it but I'm not going to go through all of this but there are all over the world stamps in here I've got Botswana I've got the Republic of Indonesia Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago Christmas Island these are brilliant so these got Australia on them and they are like a sand dune with Santa Claus and crabs um, you've got the presents on the bottom of the ocean floor. Um, this one here is like a seaweed Christmas tree, Gibraltar, Ecuador. But the, the nice thing is, is there's like, you know, you've got the, what's that one there? 
people in the Atlantic, Atla oh, Antarctic Territory. So again, if I've got someone, I don't know, who's going somewhere where there's the snow, you know, what? there's a, a stamp that's themed to it. So I hope you kind of get what I'm saying here. The Philippines, um, these ones I really liked here. So these are, again, you've got all these animals, Nigeria. Look at the, you know, the wonderful cheetahs there. Um, and on these ones here, This is all Taurus. So this is all the Republic of the Maldives, but it's all Taurus on them. So I'm sure they will come in handy at some point. Got some sports related ones here. Uh, Cyprus, and got the hare, got some fish, got the plane. So again, I've got like um, ones with trains and planes and automobiles, <laughs> all, that, all that kind of thing. And I do, I really like it. So, like I said, it is just a nice way to just finish off your cards. So that was that one. And then there was this one, which has got 500, over 500 in here. But this one had a lot more floral. So it's, these are in a bit more of an order. So they've got the UK jersey. We've got Guernsey. Um, look at this one here. That's really cute. It's a Christmas, old Christmas one there. Um, got some more flowers here. Another Father Christmas one. That's the Isle of Man. Again, Isle of Man there with the... I want to say it's a form of daisy, but I don't... Yeah, it is daisy. There you go. So, really perfect for this year, you know, these months now. So, if I've got a nice, you know, spring, summer birthday card, then that daisy stamp would go on the on the front, for example. So, um, look at these. South Africa. You've got the rhino there. Beautiful. So nice. Again, South Africa there. These are brilliant, all the African ones, because... There's just so many really lovely animal ones. Um, and they're just really different. That's a good one there. Zimbabwe, and you've got the like the trains. Um, sorry, the buses, there's the motorbike and the plane. So I've got quite a few. Got any fishing fans? You know, you've got more fish here. You've got guinea fowl. And they're perfect as well if you've done, if I've done a card that's just got lots of purple in it, then it's really nice to add these purple flowers, for example. So, yeah, it's something I've done for a long time and I really do like to just kind of add that, yeah, where I feel I need to. So what I plan to do is I'm actually going to decorate these books as well. I'm going to not decorate the sides because I like that that's, you know, that it's got that kind of old stamp album on the side. But I do want to just do something, I think, with this or at least kind of cover this in some way. I guess that's quite nice. Or the embossed stamp album there. Or maybe I might do something with my Cricut and do a nice font in gold and stick it over. And yeah, because I mean, the albums themselves, I know they're old, but they're only they're just made in China. So and that one there as well. But we'll see. We'll see what I do with those. But they need to all be sorted along with my other ones. Then Arteza very kindly sent me some more products. So they've sent me the fine line pens. So I will I will share these in a video. I don't know if I'm going to do a separate actual review of them because they're a fine line pen. So it's not really, there isn't really anything to review, I guess, apart from the fact that there is a lot of colours and stuff here. So I, they will be shared at some point again. But if you are looking for some fine liners in a real nice mix of colours. These are brilliant and again the price point's great. But what I tend to use and find these handy for is if you've stamped an image, maybe you haven't used your stamp platform because I don't use it for everything. If I've stamped a little sentiment and I might have missed a bit and say it's in a blue or something, it's quite handy to be able to pick up your fine liners and you can just go in and you can see the nib. These are really, really nice nibs and um, they've got a triangle barrel on them as well so they're really comfortable to hold. But they're just perfect for just kind of filling in any bits you might have missed. And you've got the, the black. So this would be the most common one to use, is the black. And they're lovely to write with as well. So I, along with my glitter gel pens and these, this is what I'd use to also, you know, write in my cards. So, yeah, really, really nice. So thank you, Arteza. You will see them pop up. And as always, I will share all the links below. And if you are limited with space, they always come in these really nice tins. So these are very thin like I said they you know you can store them away easily but again <laughs> if you've seen me sharing stuff over on Facebook for the last few weeks you would have seen that I purchased a ton of those wine plastic wine racks or wine kind of cases from the pound shop these are going to be going straight in there 
And then finally, after waiting for a month, which is just ridiculous, but it wasn't, well, anyway, I brought them from Hashanda and basically um, they didn't have the stock when they sell it. So they had to wait for all this stock to come over from America. Anyway, it's here. So this was an absolute bargain. I put, I shared this over on Facebook when I purchased it and I know a few of you have got yours or you ordered it as well. Um, and hopefully you've all got yours now as well. But this was for both of these was 20 pound. Was it just under 19.99, 19, something like that. Um, and that is a steal. Um, it is still being sold on Hoshanda, but it is not at this price anymore. I think you pay normal. So basically here you get both sizes. So this is the five, what size is this? Oh no, this is the seven by nine with the lid closed. So, and it's your hinged stamping platform. So I've got my magnets on the bottom. Um, so you've got your foam. So if you're using a photopolymer stamp you'd keep the foam in and you've got your magnet there to hold it in place which I will put some washi tape on. If you are using cling mount or red mount stamps then you would remove the foam and you have the depth there which will allow that stamp to be able to you know cling onto here and then stamp down. So it is literally the same well there's two magnets I knew there was don't let them snap together because they are likely to snap in half so when you get them I need to put some washi tape on them and then straight away they will be safe to use um, and they won't pinch your skin and stuff but um, yeah they're they're just really really handy I know I've got my Tim Holtz one this is a bit smaller so it's just handy to kind of sit on my desk so yeah so that's that size and then I've well you get this one here which is the 10 by 10 with the lid closed it's 8.3 by 8.3 in the actual stamping area so my Tim Holtz let's just get into this one I just want to compare it next to my Tim Holtz one so again there's your magnets on the back so just take them off they're very very strong so just make sure and they will hold through the foam or obviously not on the foam so you can see there Sorry, you get a lot of glare from this, but that's obviously I can't be can't be helped because of the material it is. All these feathers are going everywhere now as well. I've got so much on my desk that I need to clear away. So here's my Tim Holtz one. It's straight away, I can see this is heavy. Not so heavy that it's you know because I've never taken any notice before. But now I'm comparing it next to this. This is um, really quite light. But in terms of size, let's just pop. Oh, let's pop this foam. Oh, there you go. They've just gone together, but that should be okay. You slide as well. If they do go together, slide them off each other. It's much, much easier. Let's pop them there. So, yeah, it's the same area. The, the difference with the Tim Holtz that I like, and that's why I will still continue to use this, is you can put any size cardstock in here because you don't have any kind of wall around here. Whereas with this one here, you can only have paper that's within this this square. Okay, so, you know, kind of think about that when you go to, I guess, buy these kind of things. But I don't think this is going to be around forever because I don't think they're allowed to, well, they're certainly not allowed to sell it in the US anymore. So whether they're going to produce it over here, I don't know if that's even allowed. But it's the same for the Tim Holtz as well. I don't think he can sell this anymore in the US. I think it's only in the UK. So I could be wrong. I don't want to start any massive debate or anything. It's, you know, I only go by what I read in here. So um, but that's what I believe to be true. So, yeah, I still love my Tim Holtz because you can use any size paper in this. And all you do is just flip that around, you know, to change whether you want to use a clear stamp or photopolymer or a cling or red um, foam stamp. So, yeah, so I've got enough stamping platforms, but I think things like this are a bit like your bread and butter now. For me, they are anyway with crafting. So if this was to break, <laughs> I know I've got one straight away to be able to, um, to use. Um, but um, this is lightweight and it's a little bit more streamline so you can see here that's it there's nothing kind of sticking out so that can slide in with like my files and things quite nicely whereas the Tim Holtz one is very bulky you know it's got 
different raised level here this all lifts up here because obviously this is the other side so you can't really put stuff on top of this it kind of I always find things kind of slide off of it um, but I still love it I'm not you know it's not that that's just me kind of you know being critical when I go to store it away but um, yeah this one you can kind of see there the difference and then if you just do small cards and that's all you are is a card maker and you always stick within this size this one's perfect very very lightweight so there is everything guys once you take the packaging off of most of this stuff you end up with very little to be honest there's so much packaging so I do recycle wherever possible so yeah that's what I've got um any questions you've got just pop them in the comments box and I will get to them as soon as possible I will share links for these because I do believe like I said they're still available share links for the fine liners because they are good um, and things like this it's hard to really share links because yeah the, the stocks are very different in stores to what they are online and yeah you might not be able to get it all but um, just pop into any of your local range stores or pound shop um, the works they stock a lot of this craft brand here and they should do these I think these are relatively new so you should find these around but there you have it guys so I will be back tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye